friends and welcome to my butterfly crown tutorial. I was simply craving a bit more magic in my everyday and you don't have to be a child to enjoy childhood magic or a bit of whimsy in the mundane. Sometimes all it takes is a fun, easy craft. <laughs> Hence we have the butterfly crown. This cost me less than $20 to make and took less than two hours to put together. So, sub $20, sub two hours, and you're transformed into a beautiful fairy princess. If you would like to try and make your very own butterfly crown, well, I'm going to show you exactly how I made this one. So, go ahead and make yourselves a heartwarming cup of tea, grab your coziest of comfy blankets, maybe purchase the materials, I'll link them down below, and let's get to it. Like I said before, you can get everything you need to make this butterfly crown for less than $20. Here's exactly what you'll need. Perhaps most importantly are the butterflies themselves. I went to a local art supply store and I found these forever in time blue butterfly die cuts for $3.50 and I bought two bags of them. Next, you'll need a pack of pipe cleaners, or <laughs> as I learned while I was searching for them on the internet, they're actually technically called Chanel stems. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly, but I purchased this pack of Chanel stems regular multicultural colors. From here on out, I'll just say pipe cleaners. You'll need artistic wire. I purchased a roll in the color antique brass at 22 gouge. This was the most expensive thing I purchased, but I have a ton left over and it'll last me for years to come, and it was $7.95. Tape is something you'll need. Whatever you have around the house is fine. It won't show on the actual butterfly crown. And if you don't have any tape, glue will also work. It'll just take a bit longer. Next, you'll need a little safety pin or bobby pin or ballpoint pin. Basically any pointy object you can poke holes through paper with. Lastly, you'll need some pliers to cut the artistic wire with. I already had these laying around the house, but I did look them up and they're generally available at tons of different stores for about $5. So all you need for the base of your crown are pipe cleaners. First, you'll begin by twisting the ends of two pipe cleaners together. Really press them into each other. This should give you one long line. Once you have your extended pipe cleaner, measure your head. Two pipe cleaners wasn't quite enough for me, so I'm adding another one to cover the gap. And I want the crown looser to begin with because it'll get smaller as I add to it. I only needed about an extra two inches, so the tail of my pipe cleaner is very long and I just twisted that into the crown. Go ahead and measure again. You really want to get this step right because it's the foundation of the crown. And upon my second try, this was a little bit too big, so I just pulled the pipe cleaners a bit more to make the gap smaller. That's about right. Now, reinforce your crown by twisting more pipe cleaners around the base. You want it strong enough to be able to support the butterflies and to last for years to come. Ah, fresh air. I love summer, it makes me feel so alive. Here's my completed base. I essentially covered the entire original pipe cleaners in twists of new pipe cleaners. And this is what it looks like on my head. Pour out all the butterflies and organize them into matching pairs. I'm going to tape the matching pairs together. This step isn't entirely necessary, but I chose to do it. You'll notice that the back of the butterflies that I purchased are white, and I wanted the butterflies to be visible on both sides of the crown, 
So I took each matching pair and taped them together, using about two small pieces of tape per butterfly half. Now squish them together, that's <laughs> so satisfying, and fold the wings in half. Ah, it's so cute, our first butterfly. Now we must stab the butterfly. I know this is just paper, but it hurts my heart a little bit to stab these butterflies. Anyways, taking your safety pin or pointy object, poke a hole through the head of the butterfly and the tail of the butterfly, or the lowest part of the torso, whatever it's called. Go ahead and cut about four inches of wire and thread it through your butterfly holes. Poke up through the head, bend the wire into a U shape, and push down through the tail. You should have about two to three inches on one side and one inch on the other. Firmly press the shorter end against the butterfly. This will act as the support for when it's fluttering above your head and twist the remainder of your shorter end around the longer end, like a bread twisty. Voila! <laughs> Oh my goodness, the amount of happy this makes me is ridiculous. It makes me so happy. It's time to bring your crown to life. Take your crown and wrap the long end of your butterfly wire around the crown. You can play with the length and either attach the butterfly directly to the crown or hover it above the crown with more wire. For smaller butterflies, you only need two pieces of tape. You also only need to poke one hole for your wire. Then wrap the wire all the way around the small torso of the butterfly. It's just so cute! Again, I can't get over it! seriously feels like magic the more this crown comes together. It makes me giddy! Hello friends! I just wanted to pop on really quickly to say thank you. You might have noticed that I don't ever do sponsorships or partner with other brands and that is because amazingly I'm 100% sponsored by you. You being here, watching my videos, subscribing to my channel, sharing me with friends, it makes 
such a big difference. And thank you to everyone who supports my online shop. You are making my dreams come true. And to my sunbeams who support me on Patreon, I would love to extend the biggest, warmest hug and say cheers to you, friends. Thank you. <laughs> Suddenly very serious as I commence my coronation. It's so fun to have a simple craft that's just for fun and has no strings attached. Bathroom check. It makes me so incredibly happy. <laughs> I feel like a fairy princess. Part five. Be the fairy princess of your dreams. Don't hold back. You are wild and free.